Hello, this is Brett McDonald with the National Weather Service in Riverton, Wyoming, bringing you a weather briefing in the middle of this week, a day earlier than we typically do since there's a storm system coming in this weekend that we thought you'd want to know about a little bit early. Before we get into the forecast, let's take a look back at what October brought for us. The National Climatic Data Center, or NCDC, has put together some charts showing some summaries. Here's a temperature summary in climate areas throughout the United States. And if we look in on Wyoming here, these colors, the blues, represent below normal temperatures for October. And you can see some of the climate areas were much below normal for October. In terms of precipitation, the greens here show above normal precipitation. And we can especially see that this pertained to areas east of the divide, with the western part of the state about near normal or just above normal. If we look at some Riverton information and assume that this is a little bit representative of a lot of the area, we're showing here the max and min for each day by the bar plotted on top of extremes. The greens are normals and the blues are, again are extreme below normals. We can see that Riverton took a cold dip at the beginning of the month, warm back up, a little cooler in the middle of the month, warm back up again and then went back cold in October. And this corresponds well with our storm systems that we had come through the area beginning of the month, middle, and toward the end of the month, where we ended up with nearly two inches of precipitation and were almost five degrees below normal. Look over on the right hand side, and this is the November temperature so far. We had a little bit of a cool dip around the 4th and the 5th, but by far looks like we're running above normal for the month so far, and unfortunately, no precipitation. Well, let's get into our forecast. We, uh, today we do have a little bit of a storm system that's moving through the area and will be moving out into the plains so that by Thursday afternoon we'll be in some generally west flow. A little bit of moisture in that will bring some cloudiness to the northwest mountains and a few little bit of snow showers but again temperatures will be uh, a little bit cooler because of the passing storm system but still pretty mild for this time of year. Let's move into Friday. There's a little storm system that was up over Washington that's going to move down over the Great Basin and has a chance of bringing some precipitation to the southwest part of the state Friday afternoon into Friday evening. Wind should increase a little bit through our typical windy areas and the temperatures will cool a little bit more. Now Saturday gets to be the really interesting day. Both, um, our long range models are showing a stronger storm system developing over eastern Washington and it's looking like it's going to have a good amount of moisture bringing around some moisture off the Pacific Ocean and into western Wyoming by Saturday afternoon so that we should be seeing potentially rain in the lower elevations but mostly snow western part of the state as well as potential through the southern part of the state temperatures will definitely be cooler on Saturday with mostly cloudy skies and Sunday morning we should see a cold front drop down into northern Wyoming on the east side of the divide, mostly impacting the Bighorn Basin, Wind River Basin, then from Buffalo all the way down to Casper. This will be the best chance of precipitation for east of the divide, while northwest flow continues to bring some precipitation to west of the divide. So we can see the low is going to track from eastern Washington right down through central and southern Wyoming on Sunday. And if we look again on Monday, then the storm system will move off into the plains actually rather quickly but leave us with some pretty cool northwest flow behind with some residual showers with high pressure building along the west coast so that by Tuesday afternoon this high pressure will move into the Rockies area with more storminess trying to push in uh, from Wednesday onward through the end of the week. The Climate Prediction Center is taking that trend then and putting above normal temperatures across much of the southwest U.S. and even into Wyoming. But in terms of precipitation, is putting above normal chances of precipitation for the six days heading into Thanksgiving above the northern tier, so and even including the northern part of Wyoming, with below normal chances for precipitation uh, across the southwest U.S. Well, please keep up with the latest weather forecasts, and especially as you're traveling around, take a look at those YDOT webcams and their observations, and, and give us a holler if you have any questions at 1-800-211-1448. Take care. Be safe.